after sunset syndrome then the eye well becomes swimming and now the eye well has come out of the posterior chamber into the anterior chamber so it's a series of three videos that are interconnected so this 60 years old patient presented with painful decrease of vision in the right eye now if you look at the pupils of both eyes you can see the bright reflex indicating patient is bilateral pseudophagic but wait a minute right eye reflex is a bit different cornea is hazy and there is anterior chamber eye well implanted uh, intraocular pressure is raised 26 millimeter of mercury in the right eye and 12 in the left eye and there uh, was uh, hyphema in the right eye with inflammation cells and flare in the anterior chamber as well left eye is quiet and the vision is also good so now it is clear from the history and examination and there is uveitis glaucoma and hyphema with ac iol in the right eye and this patient had classical ugh syndrome now it is a rare entity nowadays but in past especially in 70s and 80s it was a common occurrence due to rough and uh, new eye well designs materials and placement in the anterior chambers now why it occur in the first place well ugh occurs due to mechanical irritation of the anterior chamber structures like iris angle ciliary body anterior chamber angles chafing occurs due to aciol material leading to bleeding breakdown of blood aqueous barrier subsequent release of pigment rbc's proteins which then goes into the anterior chamber angle and clog the angle plus also cause inflammation in the anterior chamber blocking trabecular meshwork raises intraocular pressure so ugh occurs angle is mechanically eroded by acl haptics as well and if um, acl is not of a required uh, size it moves and further raising the intraocular pressure and causing damage corneal decompensation pigment deposition on the aci well as well as cornea as well as in angle all these events lead to painful decrease of vision treatment is first uh, symptomatic uh, decrease the inflammation with topical steroids decrease the iop with the um, topical uh, anti glaucoma drops um, and but uh, medical treatment is not sufficient uh, either you have to uh, exchange the ACIOL um, with adequate size ACIOL or exchange it with uh, scleral fixation uh, IOL uh, or make a good vaulting of the ACIOL um, because uh, if you stop the medical treatment and the lens is there the cause is there UGH will happen again and again so if the patient is happy with contact lenses or AFK glasses then it's a good thing ACIOL size is very important the ideal size for ACIOL placement is horizontal corneal white to white distance plus one millimeter an incorrect sized ACL will cause movement and UGH nowadays ACIOLs are rarely used and should be avoided uh, due to this complication and scleral fixation um, should be educated especially sutureless Yemeni technique uh, uh, scleral fixation is recommended uh, and you can avoid this dreadful complication so it was the third installment of uh, IOLs thank you